Stay tuned and let's check out this Marvel Legends Hellfire Club guard. Pow and welcome back to the channel, Dan Who Reviews. As always, my name is Dan W. Make sure you are following me on Instagram at it's Dan Who. Today I surprisingly have this brand new Marvel Legends Hellfire Club Guard, as it says on the box, aka the Hellfire Club Goon, uh, that hasn't even been announced yet. So I randomly found this in Forbidden Planet in the UK today. This figure hasn't even been announced officially by Hasbro yet. So it's very rare we see things for the first time on the shelves, um, especially in the UK. So uh, that's a win for us over here. I would believe in the US this will be a Hasbro Pulse exclusive, but again, it's not been announced. We do not know that for sure. So there he is on the table. As I said, it says How Fire Club Guard. Hellfire Club Guard, so it's not the Hellfire Club Goon, but obviously that's what we call it. And you can see on the table as well, I've got the other army builders that Hasbro have gave us so far. So the first one we got was obviously the Hydra Soldier. The second we got was the AIM Trooper, or they're both called Troopers, so I guess they're army troopers. And this third one now is the Hellfire Club Guard, aka the Hellfire Goon. So yeah, I like what Hasbro are doing here. Cheaper price point, nice way for us to army build these characters where you sort of need one on the shelf. These are fodder for your heroes to beat up. So uh, yeah, looking forward to this one. So let me move these out the way. And as I said, let's focus on this Hellfire Club Guard. Simple box, not a lot to show off. It's the same design as the previous ones. It's got a bit of red, obviously. As I said, it says Hellfire Club Guard. On the side, the design continues all the way around. It does say Pulse at the bottom, so that's why I'm saying I do think in the US this will be exclusive to Hasbro Pulse. On the back, loads of spiel. Uh, there's the barcode. It won't make a difference, though, because, again, you can't buy it in stores. The design continues on the side. So yeah, let's open this up. Now we may as well do this on camera as it is such a simple box. So let's get that open and uh, see. So this is the first time I'm actually seeing this figure. There's been no promotional images or anything. So pow, there we go. And he's got some weapons in there as well. So let's get this bag open. So there we have it, the Hellfire Club Guard. And I really like this face sculpt. It's like a creepy doll's mask over a face. And you can sort of see the eyes in there as well. I'll zoom in and show you that in a minute. But just looking, he's got the line down the face, which is sculpted in there. And definitely a new face sculpt. And it gear, there is a layer there between the sort of head and the mask. So it looks like a mask on top of the face. And then spinning it round, you'll see it is the standard bulky cap body. Now, some people like that, some people dislike that, but let's be honest, it's Hasbro's go-to. So you know what to expect with articulation. Uh, it's the same as many, many figures, but let's say in this instance, it's the same as the Hydra soldier. And uh, yeah, you know what to expect when it comes to articulation. But I like the blues and the reds. I've gone for a good choice. As I said, I probably expected this to be black and red, but I guess the blue and red is much more accurate to more comic panels we've seen in the past. So I like the design, very simple, clean, paintwork as well don't see nothing sloppy there all the way down to the belt that belt is a separate plastic piece spin it around there the design continues on the back all the way down to the legs still got the little code there that i don't think we'll ever get rid of and then the boots are the red so nice and simple character design but it is accurate to the comics and so no complaints there so the new thing the new feature about this is all about the face school so there's another closer look at this head sculpt. As I said, that line down the middle is molded and you can definitely see his eyes behind that creepy sort of doll's mask. And as I said, it is sort of layered on top of a normal mold. So you can sort of see it there layered. And uh, nothing on the back, but uh, those eyes are definitely there. Creepy, but looks good. So with all of these army builders so far, we have got a little bit of weaponry, and this time is no exception, as he comes with two weapons. So the first one is this little pistol that he can hold no problems in his trigger finger hand, fits in there nicely. I'm sure we've seen this gun before, um, but someone in the comments can let me know. It's sort of just a simple silver, at least it's not lime green. I don't think they're, the toy companies like doing toy guns as black, so we're always gonna get them in like weird colors, but uh, that doesn't look too bad at all. Someone can let me know what that's from. So I said he has one trigger finger hand. The other hand is just a normal sort of grippy hand that we've seen a million times before on these bulky cat bodies. Uh, but he does have another weapon. 
This one is obviously a little bit bigger, and again, I'm sure we've probably seen this before, but I can't think where from from the top of my head. So maybe both of these weapons are new molds for this Hydra Guard. I'm not 100% sure. As I said, help me out in the comments below. But this one's decent. You can hold it with the second hand. You just have to squeeze the hand around like that, as you know what to do. Um, and then you can get him posed up, holding it uh, looking after the Hellfire Club as always. Um, but yeah, that looks decent enough. As I said, there's the sculpt. Do you recognize it? It's that silver sort of gray color again. Both guns molded the same and you can hold it in the trigger finger hand no problem at all. So yeah, not bad. Ignore me. As I got these figures out for comparison, I've realized the Hydra Soldier came with the exact same guns as this Howl Fire Guard. So they are the same guns. Both the big and the small gun are the same, just a different color. Moving into comparisons, here's the first and most obvious comparison. So here we have the Hellfire Guard compared to the Hydra Trooper and the AIM Trooper. So all three of these were Hasbro Pulse exclusives in the US and they are very much catered towards the collecting community, people who want to army build, ACBA, all of that good stuff and they're available at that cheaper price point. So no build or figure pieces, not many accessories, but they are catered towards the collecting community and I think Hasbro are doing a great job. I like that we're getting a new character as let's be honest, we probably all would have guessed the third one would have going to be some sort of uh, shield agent. Uh, I'd still like a shield agent uh, army builder or maybe a female shield agent, but we shall see what the future holds. Let me know in the comments below, what would you want the fourth army builder to be? Obviously, these Hellfire Club guards are going to be the perfect accompanying piece to this year's Hascon exclusive Hellfire Club box set, which was supposed to be the 2020 San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Either way, Hasbro are finding a way to get it to us. So I'm very happy about that. And let's be honest, we're going to need more than one of these Hellfire Club guards to go along with that box set to create our own little Hellfire Clubs in our display. But for the meantime, I have the black version of Emma Frost. But soon we shall have some original members of the Hellfire Club for our collection. And last but by no means least, you cannot Google a picture of the Hellfire Club's goons without finding pictures of them attacking Wolverine. So here we have Wolverine compared to the Hellfire Club goon. And as he should be, he is shorter. Uh, so you can imagine having eight or so of these attacking Wolverine would create a very nice display. As I said, the ACBA community are gonna love these Hellfire Guards, um, but yes, go very nicely with Wolverine. Again, really liking how the colours pop. So um, yeah, there we have Wolverine, Hellfire Guard, who wins? Now, I don't usually go over articulation, but considering this may be the first review, I thought I'd quickly go through it. So let's see what we can do. He can crunch that far forward, which is pretty good, and that far back. So again, he can get punched in the face, and you can have him reacting that way. Arms will go up to 90, perfectly double jointed elbows, bicep swivel as well, no problem. Both of the wrists have a joint that goes in and out rather than up and down, which is a little bit disappointing for gun trigger hands, but oh wow. Uh, there is a waist swivel as well. I guess you could move the belt up to hide that waist swivel if you want to like that, and that works out pretty well. I probably should have done that at the start of the video. Uh, there's swivel at the top of the thigh, no problem. Double jointed knees, um, which is not bad at all. Uh, there's a boot cut, which is hidden by the red of the boots, and then an ankle pivot as well. So as I said, for a bookie cat body, you get a decent amount of articulation for an action figure. You can't really be mad. I know they have got better books these days, but as a go-to, the bookie cap has been good to us. And uh, yeah, I'm not mad. He looks up quite a bit as well, by the way. I forgot to mention that. He will look up and he can bury his chin. And then of course, a swivel all the way around for the head. So yeah, Decent range. So there we have it. First quick look at this brand new Marvel Legends Hellfire Club guard, AKA Goon. And I always like adding new characters to the display and we're yet to have this in figure form. And it's crazy to think by the end of the month, we're gonna have a very nice Hellfire Club section of our display with these new figures coming out. So obviously you're gonna need more than one of these guys. So you let me know in the comments below how many Hellfire Club guards 
do you need? How many is too many? How many do you want? How many will make a good display? Let me know in the comments below as always. And hopefully this will be available very soon as obviously it's made, it's on the shelves in the UK. So I'm sure it's in a stock room somewhere in the US just waiting to go up for pre-order. So uh, yes, as always, you let me know in the comments below what do you think of this figure? Do you like the color choices? Do you like the creepy dolls mask? Always curious to hear your thoughts and make sure you go and check out my Instagram at it's Dan Who, and I will post some more pictures and I'll probably get the review up on Marvelous News as well. I'll send it over to JC and send him some photos as well. So go and check out there and hopefully I'll put some uh, more pictures up there for you. Um, but yes, I definitely need to get more than one of these. Um, but yeah, time will tell how many. So uh, as always, you know what to do. Want to see more Marvel Legends? Then you're in the right place, obviously. Go to the videos tab, find the playlists. But most importantly, please, please, please hit that subscribe button. Much, much appreciated. And if you do want to support the channel a little bit more, there is a Patreon link in the description below. But until then, people, my name is Dan W. And I will, of course, see you on the next one.